Hey everyone, how are you doing? This is Lorraine from the Sacred Alchemist 1111. I am going to be conducting your reading today. This is going to be for um, whether you are on the twin flame journey, if you are a light worker, light healer, light warrior, um, you know, channeler, um, or even a karmic. Now, this is um, about the North Node reading. So, um, for those that are not sure what North Node is, um, it's a part of your chart um, that speaks about um, your life purpose, where you're going to be heading, like your destiny. Um, so I kind of like felt compelled to kind of do this reading um, in particular because of um, the 1111 portal. So with regards to this magnificent change in the energy, the paradigm shift is a lot more stronger. I feel very different right now. I don't know if anybody else feels that same way. Um, certainly more, um, got more clarity about what it is that I want to do, who I am, where I'm going. So um, I'm really, really thankful for that. Um, but also today is November the 13th, 2021. So obviously, as we know, number 11, um, November, 11th month of the year, of this, you know, uh, linear year. And also 13 is um, the tarot card for death, which is Scorpio energy, Scorpio season. And 2021 is obviously the year that we're in for this, you know, timeline. And um, break it back down, it gives you five. So basically, um, today is a day of transformation and change, okay? So just take what resonates with this reading. It is general um, and it's timeless. So even though you may not see this reading today, but if you see this reading, um, it's about what messages that you can get out of it. Now, you may already know exactly what it is that you want to do, which is fantastic if you do. Um, so it may not really be for you, um, this reading, okay, which is perfectly fine, which is, so long as you know exactly where, where it is that you're going, that is the main thing that's perfect. Um, but it's more for those who are trying to get some kind of guidance going on, whatever messages that they pick up during this reading may help them. And obviously for yourself as well, even though you may know what it is that you're doing, if there's anything that is said in this reading that could help, then that's fine. Um, now, if it's to do with certain things that I pick up on, it could be to do, all right, let's say for argument's sake that um, it might be picked up on, say, for doing something really creative, um, you know, like decorating, say, for argument's sake. Um, now, you may have a, an, uh, an idea or an, a hobby that you like to do. So it could be painting, but not painting a door. It could be painting a picture. All right. So you it's just about changing it around to suit your particular situation. OK, um, you know, but it's it's like it's I'm doing this reading to sort of like help hopefully to trigger um, ideas, creative ideas or to do with positivity at the end of the day. All right. And obviously any challenges that come up that you need to be aware of that, you know, may come through, then, you know, it, again, you just take what resonates. And if it's certain things that you can agree with, well, you know something, I need to work on that. Yeah, that's, you know, that resonates with me. Then that is what um, you can do with that as well. All right, so let's get stuck in. So first up, we're going to be looking at um, using the High Priestess of Light Oracle. So this is going to be messages from your high self and spirit with regards to your situation. Um, and then the next lineup will be... Um, to do with the uh, moonology so it's to do with um I, the reason why i mentioned about the moonology decks um this is more to do with the the lunar eclipse and the new moon that will be coming up um the full moon it's coming up this month and then the new moon for next month so i do it just feels like because i'm doing this north node reading which is about you know where you're destined to go where you you, you know you're heading to if you watch this reading um you know, before the 19th and the 4th of December, um, I'll obviously do readings um, then. Um, this is about things that can help you, um, you know, whatever messages that you need to know on that day um, for today. And obviously um, for when it's the full moon reading and obviously for the new moon, then I will be pulling more messages because it's what we're capturing at that particular time of the day 
um, where we get them, you know, get these messages from. All right. So let's get stuck in with the High Priestess of Light Oracle. So this is for the collective. Are there any messages coming through for the feminines that they need to know? We have got deep emotions, unknown feelings, past life influences. So I feel from a South Node perspective, um, there could be certain things that you are sort of like needing to kind of work on. Um, if you are not sure about what these feelings mean to you, then this is the perfect time for you to kind of dive deep um, within your lifetime and to try to figure out what these feelings are. Now, the, again, it's it just feels as if it's unknown feelings can mean anything. And because this is a general reading, it just I'm um, just guided to say that apply those feelings to your situation. Because it has something to do with the past life of why you're here and the things that you need to do. I'm also picking up on um, a divine, like a, the DM, divine masculine um, side or the distorted masculine of um, things that are troubling them. They're not sure of how to go about their situation. And again, um, it's it's to kind of go back towards um, what happened in the past life. So I, I'm picking up as well on the past life regression um, to try to get an idea, to investigate further as to what these feelings are. It's quite a masculine kind of energy, though. Very masculine. OK, so this can be for any gender, guys, any gender. We're just going by the energy. These are feelings that seem to be plaguing you a lot. Um, and it's kind of keeping you stuck in a particular area of your life. I feel it's just your life in general. You feel kind of stuck. Um, very toxic energy as well. This is what I'm picking up. But you are advised, um, certainly in terms of um, doing a life regression course um, session. Um, and also, again, it's just saying about these dreams that you, you know, you're going to be having. Certain people that will be coming to you, they look familiar, but you don't know them in real life. Um, they could certainly be people from your past or actually the, 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 the avatar that you was wearing at that time from the past life could be coming back to you to tell you certain things. All right. Next card that we have got is shamanic journey, purpose, attunement, vision and quest. So for some of you guys, this is um, about you stepping into this shaman um, energy. Some of you could be shamans. And this is just like a re, like a re, um, like reaffirming, knowing deep down inside that the, you know what you are doing. You're on the right path. You know what your purpose is. Maybe it just feels a little bit unsure to you, um, if it is to do with anything to do with your past. But I feel that it's it's very strong in the confidence. No, no, no. This is what I'm doing. I know that this is my path. I know this is my journey, okay? Um, especially if you're just starting out even as a shaman as well. So this is quite powerful. Next page. Um, I'm picking up as well. You could be a, a shaman that is going to have somebody coming towards you with regards to this situation. So I feel that this is kind of preparation. You're going to help them. And my left ear is blocking. Mm. You are, it's as if like you're going to help them with their, with their vision for what they, it's like unlocking the door to their past. Okay. And we've got hidden knowledge, Akashic records, silent understanding. I feel that this will be part of what you will be offering as a service shaman, um, helping them to um, obtain information about themselves. This feels like this is a, certainly a service to others. This is what really what I'm picking up here because you understand vibrationally what this person is doing. Because I feel that you're somebody who has you. It's like you speak when necessary. You speak when it's needed to. But the things that you say hold valuable meaning. And this person that's coming towards you is a lost soul. Um, and it's very important for you to kind of um. You know, it's like being in preparation. I feel that you know that somebody's going to be coming towards you. Um, you you're going to be ready for this. Okay. And the next card that we have got is soul radiance. You are certainly going to help them to ascend. I feel that this soul radiance um is for this person. And we have got divine masculine, eclectic, sorry, eclectic, <laughs> electric active power. 
this is what I was picking up on a divine masculine, a masculine energy, okay? Helping them to get into alignment and union within their, for their twin flame. Perfect, okay. Last card that I've got is the activation. All oh, right, okay. Uh, and then we've got hostilities, conflict, unrest. This is what's going on with them. This is an inner conflict. They're not sure about the feelings. So it's like, it's just so straightforward. It, it feels as if it's so straightforward for you. you. It's like you know exactly what to do. You know exactly, well, this is the reason why you need to do a past life regression. This is what I can offer you to unlock. This is some kind of holistic therapy, hypnosis, um, anything to do with helping them to unlock the doors to their past. So they can figure it out, be in the energy of bravery, courage, and then it will be to help them to close the door, update their Akashic records, bless that energy, seal it off, and then move forward. Fantastic. And then we have got portal. Yeah, infinite mind, awakening consciousness. This is exactly what this person needs. You see how the cards have played out? It's as if like job done, it's it's sorted, it's done. This is what needs to happen. Um, if you are a divine masculine or a distorted masculine that, you know, it's like you might even need to go to a shaman because now you know exactly what to do. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, but as always, this is what you need to just take what resonates with you the most. Take what resonates with you the most because I feel that it, it, certainly you've got purpose now. Looking a bit unsure of yourself but now you've gone through the portal now you know what to do and 15 is like the devil energy all right you know what to do this is amazing all right so that's the high priestess i'm going to tick this off i had to literally write down um how i'm going to just do this reading all right so the moonology is the next one so this is to do with anything that you are going to be eclipsing out of your life all right, so the lunar eclipse, um, you know, um, and also like for the, the um, full moon as well, things that are going to be coming into light, things that you're going to be getting rid of. And then with the solar eclipse as well, um, things that you're going to be manifesting, just bring it into your life. All right, so let's see what kind of messages that we get. Guys, please do take what resonates. This is the moonology deck. Things that are going to be coming up around that time what works, what doesn't work, what you want to come into your life. This is what we're going to be working on. So we do have adjustments are required. So if this is kind of like, yeah, a little bit more than obvious, um, this is what you're doing. And I feel that this is part of this as well, to readjust your life, to realign yourself with your high self, your spirit guides, the universe, so that this is going to help you really to get to your north node a lot more easier but it's also about the experience what you're going through at this time in your life during your journey that you it's like that's what's going to be helping you along so this feels like unfinished business to me things that you were were trying to do in the past but it's like you're getting another chance to do it again this time you know how to go about it okay and then we have got a time for healing, balsamic moon. Certainly a time of when, yeah, okay. I feel in the past you were certainly avoiding um, past hurts, um, past disappointments, healing from a lot of what had happened to you. I feel that this is a strong reading for a, a masculine. Um, this could be you, Divine Feminine, the masculine side of you, okay, um, that you need to kind of like focus on to sort of um, shift your attention to that side of you, which is going to help give you the balance as well, all right? If you notice the way how the two arms are, I'm oh, sorry guys, hold on, let me just put this over for you, all right, so that you can see. This feels like this, this, this masculine feels like it's also... Once he or she is in their full power, this is a very, very powerful protective energy. This is what I'm picking up. I picked up on that the other day, didn't I? I've said, I'm certain I said the same thing. When you're given a platform, when you're given the opportunity, whoever you are as a divine masculine, because I feel that you've been emasculated. 
you died that way. I'm sorry to, sorry guys, it's just what's coming through. You died um, that way, emasculated. This time in, you're coming in, but you've had a, a very up, rough upbringing. Again, with this emasculated energy, you wasn't, an, it was as if like that manhood, that masculinity was taken away from you. Um, in terms of affairs, fast relationships. I'm hearing the word planted women, planted women. Um, so for some of you, you know, if you were men, certain things were planted. So, uh, you know, it could have been like, um, you know, they, they, they set you up. You know, they planted sort of like narcissistic feelings or thoughts, forms into your mind, projected their energies onto you, their thought process, their thought forms onto you that had nothing to do with your energy, but you didn't know where it was coming from, why you were feeling like this. You had some real sense, but this felt like a test. Sorry, guys, if I'm sounding um, thing. This feels like it was a test, though. Um, I am picking up a lot of um, that really Jezebel wanton woman. This real, you know, real, uh, a very karmic energy, very karmic -y. Because I feel that this is what you're dealing with for most of your life. Problems after problems after problems. These deep emotions. Feel that you died, as I said, it's coming back again. It's, it's like, a, it's reaffirming you died emasculated. But now you have to be now for, for, for this chance now, this chance in, in this lifetime to get your power back. And it means unlocking the door to that past in order to fix it, in order to adjust it so that then you can put a blessing on it, forgiveness, heal on it, seal that door off with the help of the assistance from the Akashic field, um, really picking up on that. And then you'll be able to stand strong in your power. And to become into the divine masculine. Because this is where you will be activated. Go through the portal. All right. And we have got, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Emperor energy. Divine masculine energy. So the moment that you finished with the healing side. This is when now you will, it's, it will be time for you to take action. All right. Okay. And then last card. You've got a lot of prosperity. You've got a lot of abundance. You've got a lot of you know rewards that be coming your way because i feel that this is the work this is what you needed to do all right this is what you needed to do we've got emotions are running high the super moon so you know again with these emotions that's going to be really getting to you this is what you need fixing on all right and we have got expect powerful change so once this has happened once you have gone through the portal i feel to I keep saying divine masculine all right once you have gone through this dm you're going to be, you know, that's going to help you to go through the portal a lot more easier. <sighs> okay. Wow. Right, so that is brings me to the ending of that moonology. So let's get into the North Node section now. For that, I'm going to be using the Psychic Tarot decks um, for the heart and... Oh, no, sorry. I beg your pardon. What's happening with you at present? All right, so we, it's going to be the Energy Oracle and the Kipper Dex. I do apologise, guys, because I wrote them around the wrong way. Uh, all right, so first up, let's let's get into the, the Kipper. So all of that is, to me, feels like very much spiritual size, spiritual energy. So this is now going to be talking about your um, where you are right now, the energies around you guys right now. And then the other two decks will be about your North Node, what, you know, your life mission, your soul purpose, your journey, your destiny. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for that. So this is the Kipper deck. What's happening around the spiritual community right now? What's going on with these guys? Thank you so much. Now, we know that we have got challenges around us right now. Bad health. So this is certainly about what we are facing right now, what is around us right now. All right. But what I want to say is that this is our time to be able to transmute those energies, isn't it? Right. So this is what we need to be. This is what is around us, which we kind of know. Bad health. 
all right see you know that covid stuff the pathway so i am certain i said to you guys i'm very certain i said to you guys or i'm i've said this to quite a few people i can't remember if i said it to you guys this what's going on here has made it possible for you now to see your way out all right this is all about transformation remember what i said this is a day of transformation and change but this is positive change that tried to keep you locked down and locked in like as a square into this kind of prison all right bad health bad mentality, bad physical, this, this and the other. It's all real, all shitty and negative, right? You had somebody that literally, it was as if they wanted to keep you there, bed bound, right? However, you kind of had to like flip mode yourself, the mentality, think outside of the box. And it, it's now where you're starting to see that there is light at the end of the tunnel, Using this COVID stuff to work in your favour, to help you to transform, all right? To help you transform because you have been seeing a lot of people that would have been going through this. I'm hearing that, what is that um, saying? Um, I fear no evil. Um, yea, I walk through the shadow of death or the valley of death. I fear no evil. So, guys, I've got so many things that's coming in right now. A lot of stuff that's coming in. So, I may sound as if I'm talking to somebody else or something else or even myself. But it's just to try and get this vibe, this energy going. Again, death is about this transformation. You are not going to be staying stuck. And this is what's going on with you guys. All right. So, this is the way out. This is the courtship. This is about... So coming into union within yourself, this feels like this is the, 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 the twin flame union within the self. All right, bringing about this 1111 energy, twin flame vibes. And got despair. So this is, again, this is about transforming that. And I feel that, again, this is giving me this vibe of despair. This is a negative, low vibrational energy. Things that you feel, why are you in despair? Because there's things that you you don't know or you know that, that, you know, you want the change, but you don't know how to go about it. Then this is about, again, adjusting those, the mindset in order to allow things to fall into place. It feels like strong anxiety still, all right? Um, the card at the bottom of the deck is the main female. So I do sense that there's a situation going on here. Um... Now, even though it's got like two, two people in there, two separate people in here, what I'm picking up on, um, you know, is, let me just put these two cards together. Again, the unification within the self. So getting that balance right, changing the mindset, the feminine and the masculine energy in order to become united in one. And if you can see there, you've got an angel, this is like, you know, divinely protected vibes. Even though you guys may be in separation, I'm talking about your person, the person that you're dealing with. Even though you guys are in separation, okay? A divine feminine is still holding out that unconditional love, still maintaining, um, distorted feminine, masculine, um, you know, it's still going through your karmic process, your cycles. It's changing, all right? Three and two is five. It's about changes, so how you look on things, there's no love, there's no loyalty, you know, work is, you know, I'm afraid, get out of that, snap out of that vibe, look within yourself, all right, this feels like this is what's happening with this emasculated energy, this is not a strong masculine here, this is a strong masculine, somebody who knows himself or herself, all right, okay, now we are going to be pulling the energy oracle already that's just popped straight out goddess of the moon so this is about using your intuition right now things that are hidden from you that you cannot see um again I, i'm really it's like tell me about this um the moonology cards as well goddess of the moon use your intuition a lot more guys 
I feel that this is certainly what's going on. The veil is certainly getting thinner. All right. This is what I'm sensing here. It's getting thinner. The next card that we have got for you all is the second chakra, which is Archangel Ariel. Um, I feel that this is um, an angel that you guys work with. Some of you work with this um, Archangel very well. Um, if you don't, I feel that this would be a great opportunity to call in Archangel Ariel during this time of your transformation. This is getting yourself into some real form of alignment here. All right, your gut instincts. Um, I'm, do you know, I'm hearing it again about cleansing of the womb area. This is where um, physically, but also about creatively as well. Okay. Um, ideas, things are, that are being created, things that are being conceived, ideas that are being conceived, all right? Um, I was also picking up on the, the mind being like that of the womb, where a lot of your ideas are conceived, are created, and then they are in the process of being developed so that they can then come into your reality, okay? Happy family. This is creating new earth, happy family, the temple path. There's something very, very significant about this temple path. This is giving me a sacred trinity. Okay, this sacred trinity, mind, body and soul. Um, this is not just about a physical place. This is also about the, the, the temple within the self, your heart space. Picking on that a lot and speaking about the heart space, we have Archangel Raphael, healing, a time for when you need to heal. Three and eight is um, 11. So again, this is um, bring me the 11, you know, of November today, that, that month, Master Builder number 11. And then we have got an angel of balance. Four and eight is 12. One and two is three. So I do feel that with um, probably with regards to the chakras that need to be balanced out as well, your second chakra and your fourth chakra. So this is amazing stuff, guys. And then we have got underneath the bottom of the deck, we have got patience. Patience is a virtue. As we always know, things take time to manifest into reality. Whatever you are thinking about doing for yourself right now, you're trying to manifest it into your life. It's not going to happen just like that. It's going to need to take time because a lot of things needs to be shifted out of the way. Cycles needs to be ended around you so that it will allow this pathway to unfold. You have to be patient during this pandemic. You have to let this game, this situation play itself out. But in the meantime, whilst it's because it's practically come to an end now anyway, um, this is where you can start to plan. Use the time wisely. Choose wisely. You choose what to say from what not to say. All right. It's all about what works well with you. And again, um, I'm picking up on the seventh chakra as well, your crown chakra. Um, reason why I'm saying that as well is for here. And one in six is number seven as well. All right. So it's like it will help to reduce any kind of you know anxieties or lessen the amount of questions that you've got going on as to damn, like, what's going on now? I thought I was going to be, you know, I thought we was going to be united by now. Have you been in unification with yourself? Have you been in union with yourself first? In order to have a beautiful, fantastic relationship, you need to kind of find that first within yourself, all right? Um, so that's done. Now we can get into the North Node section. All right, okay. So this is going to be using now the North Node section all right so we're going to start with this deck first and we're going to use this to clarify after if i need to okay so this is going to be the part now that talks about like your journey your destiny where you're headed as i said guys use this as um you know template you can always change at any time to see your life okay so i've got the crown chakra as i was mentioning before so i feel that right you know going in towards um towards your destiny you are certainly going to be in much more alignment um 
with your higher self because you would have done so much work here already. And again, the moment that you start to learn to be patient with the crown chakra, it's going to allow you then to be able to be in, you know, the energy of receiving um, the information that you need to help to guide you, okay? You know, you haven't reached your destination just yet, but this is the journey that you're going to be heading towards from you know, from this day forth, all right? The next card that we have got is suffering in silence. No more of that, that's coming to an end. Anything that you're not sure of doing, you're going to be asking, you're going to be in this vibe of like, well, okay, I need answers, I need guidance. Even though this feeling of suffering in silence, I still feel that you're still keen to learn, you're still keen, it's always about, the light is always at the end of the tunnel and this is where I'm going. Some of you are heading back east. It's something about where east meets west. Um, it's that like you're going back. But it feels as if it's like it, you're going back with purpose. This is being guided. Back to source, back to... And you know what song I'm hearing? Back to life, back to reality by soul to soul. Interesting. And how they used to write soul to soul was like with the Roman numerals, that's given me number 11, okay? So we have got shadow, doing the shadow work, okay? I feel that there's still going to be certain things that's going to be unfolding during the time of anything that has got anything to do with the South Node, anything to do with past life, um, things that you are going to need to be finding out. Again, thankfully, the Crown Chakra is the first card of this spread, so this is where it's like your true north. You're facing your true north. And we have got truth. Seeking out the truth. Knowing that what is... Um, it's also this is giving me um, like justice as well. Because I can see what looks like scales of um, the Libran scales, justice scales, scales of justice. To me, this feels like this is judgment as well. This is more to do with a, a spiritual awakening. Now, with these, I'm, I'm picking up on chains of truth, things that are interlocking for you in order to keep this, this connection between you and the universe very strong. And it's unbreakable. The moment that you start to become more... Um, you know, connected with the universe, it will, you will never be able to break that again. It's like, it's, it's become like permanent. It's given me this, you know, because then you'd be able to really mark out yourself where you need to be, where you need to be going. Next part that we have got is destiny. There you go. Completions, new beginnings, cycles that are being, um, you know, created um, and, you know, experienced and then ended. And we have got disruption. So anything that is, again, that is disrupting you during the time of these cycles, it's as if it's going to be, um, as I said, you're not at your destination yet, but this is all to do with making sure that you're no longer suffering in silence, but you know exactly how to what's working from you from what isn't working from you there's obviously there's upcoming challenges that you're going to be experiencing certainly for what i see um in terms of a career i feel that you're going to be somebody that's going to be helping others to align their lives um this could be part of what you're doing right now um as a provider a service that you're providing for your local community i feel that this is something that you what if that's the case i do feel that you're going to be getting a lot of channeled messages because this is a, a very much a spiritual business as you are going along with regards to helping people you are going to be getting it's as if someone's passing the baton from the past to the present so that you can both manage the future and to help rebuild that future The card underneath the bottom of the deck is recognition and reward. So what 
whatever you are going to be doing right now, you will, it's like you will be recognized. You are going to be successful. The universe is going to, because they can see what you're doing. Your higher self, your spirit guides, um, source can see what you're doing. It's like you're going to get, so. it's going to just put your mind at ease because you've finally realized, I get it now. All right. Um, let me just tell me a little bit about the suffering in silence. Tell me a little bit about this and the shadow. The disruption as well. The control. Yeah, keeping your emotions intact and in control. No longer feeling that your life is out of control. You're going to be able to be feeling more in control of your life. Um, and not so sort of like disrupted. And I feel that this is also what you're going to be able to offer others. Because I'm hearing that because you know that they're going to have to do it for themselves. Um, it's also about, I mean, again, it could be this shaman energy that's coming through. But what I'm picking up here as well is you're going to help them um, to get in touch with their past so that, you know, their past selves. Um, it could even be um, energies that are coming towards you to help to pass messages to this person because they're so... Um, fragmented that you know they're not able to hear their higher selves or really tap into their intuition but helping them to sort of like find the answers go within in order to see who you was you know who you were before um, and that's going to help you who you are today i'm hearing that you did this before for some of you you've done this before It's like you passed the test, congratulations. Again, this is, I just feel that you can't see this. It's what's be behind, beyond all of this. It's what you can't see. Okay, let me just tap into the shadow. What you can't see, we've got teach. Yeah, you're certainly passing on. Whatever you learned in that life lesson, it's like you've, you've passed that test now. So you are now being... Is that you can carry that beam of light. This is like a tradition. This is like a... It's like an ancestral tradition that's been passed on to you as well. Picking up ancestor energy. Ancient as well. Okay. Tell me about the disruption. People that will be coming towards you. Encouraging them to go with the flow and rest and recover. I feel that some of them are so rigid, they're not able to do that. But because you've, again, you've sort of like surrendered, you've got, you're going with the flow, go within. And this will help them to kind of like reconsider their options reconsider where they're going helping them to sort of see the light within themselves i did say this it feels as if i did say this in a previous reading i remember that a lot is going to be asked off of you but the thing is what you need to do is to also encourage them to ask of themselves as well show them the way of how to ask of themselves but it's as if their past is able to provide all the answers that they need the akashic records holds the answers to these questions that this person feels as if like unanswered questions leads to a lot of disruptions okay sorry guys that was such a mouthful um and uh, the card at the bottom of the deck is yep helping them to move on you see and the card sort of the, the person looks a bit familiar in regards to what they're wearing So you're helping that person, you're freeing them from their own inner conflict. You're helping people that were in this kind of boxed in kind of energy to help them to move on towards emancipation. And as I've said that, it's starting to rain. All right, so that's a good sign for cleansing. Guys, this is what I've got for you. Thank you so much for watching this reading. Um, this is your North Node reading for the collective. Okay, my name's Lorraine Burton and I am... Your host and reader for the Sacred Alchemist 1111. Guys, do take care of yourselves and I'll be back with another reading. Take care.